Now let me ask you something. Do you like bowling? Do you like craft beer? Heck, do you just like to go have a good time out? Well, then you are in luck because Zach Clark from ESPN Tucson wants to invite you out somewhere. Yeah, we're going bowling. Yeah, you want to take everybody on yeah, a date this yeah, weekend. We're, well, yeah, we're going bowling on Saturday afternoon. What better way to spend your weekend, right? Yeah, well, it's bowling and, and it's more. and brews. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the bowling part of it is fun. You know, the, they have each brewery set up. Uh, there's 15 breweries going to be there in total. There'll be 40 different craft beers. And, you know, Tina, some of the beers that you're going to sample have never been sampled before. So oh. there's a couple of limited edition and special run beers you're going to taste there as well. Uh, local beers, uh, beers from all over the place as well. So it's going to be great. And then, yeah, the bowling part is fun, too. Um, you have a different brewery set up each lane, like I said, and you go from uh, station to station talking to people. And I think that's one of the great parts of this. It's a lot of times you go to a beer festival and they're huge. Yeah. And there are people everywhere, which is fine. People love craft beer and they want to be part of it, but it's hard to get that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the brewer or the distributor, those that really know a lot about the beer themselves, because we know that craft beer is a little nerdy, right? <laughs> and that's a wonderful thing. And so to be able to talk and ask questions uh, is a wonderful thing. And so that, to me, is the intimate setting uh, of this is what makes it the most fun. Well, you're not new to the fact that I'm a huge foodie. So will there be food there? Yeah, we're going to have all kinds of food. In fact, we're going to have some fun with food uh, and beer, one of my favorite brewers, Brother John's, is going to have food, Abuelas, General Ben's, Casino del Sol, and our friends at Brush, Brush Fire Ice Creamery are going to make ice cream with one of the beers you'll sample at the brew ball. They're going to use their Ultra Vest and make it into uh, an ice cream. They're known for that, like infusing the ice cream mm. uh, with the alcohol. Yeah, in fact, I think for them at Brush Fire, you have to be 21 even to buy that ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I really like it. Actually, this event is 21 and yeah, over right. because right. there's alcohol there. Right, and so what will happen is uh, you can buy your tickets now. They're at ESPN2Cent.com. They're 25 bucks, and you'll get a basically a punch card uh, and you'll get to sample 20 beers as you walk throughout uh, and try the food that we talked about and the ice cream. But yeah, you got to be 21 because that's the law. Because that is the law. Can I make this even better? I feel like we have brew, we've got food, we got bowling, we're going to interact, and then we're just going to do a nice little icing because this is also a fundraiser for a charity. Yeah, and what the Costa Maria Soup Kitchen does, uh, they feed over a thousand people every day, and, and the, the way that they operate is so fundamental to the way that Tucson operates, and to be able to help them, help other people in this community is just a wonderful thing. So yeah, I'm glad that we can have fun and do all this, but still tie it back into something uh, that's actually important. And you'll be there? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. I thought that was the best part. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. You're and you're going to be there too. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Oh, hello, you just said <laughs> craft beer and food. Would I not be there? Well, yeah, I, where would I be, right? Right. Well, I was like, it's the $25 ticket is just enough to go in and see Zach Clark. Yeah, totally. Go on a totally. Date. And then afterwards, we're going to hang on a Blue 42 and watch Arizona and Utah play basketball. So Of course you are. <laughs> uh, so buy your tickets online, but yeah. if, if I'm going to really say that because this could sell out. Yeah, no. It, well, that's the thing. I, I mentioned the, the small uh, yeah. setting. It, 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 they're only limited number of tickets and it can sell out it did not last year but it, it can uh 25 bucks on espn tucson.com 30 bucks at the door if they're still there but don't 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 be that procrastinator person bedrocks i know thornydale yeah, yes yeah. and just bedrocks is pretty cool to if you haven't been there in a minute go check it yeah, back out totally. uh so food we've got brews it's going to a charity uh we can get our tickets right now starts at what time 11 30 11 30 to 3 30 11.30 to 3.30. You'll be there. I'll be there. I know a lot of people, uh, Jason Barr will be there. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are going to stop in. So it's like hanging out. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be. I can't wait. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Look at that. Is that is that the excited face? There we oh, go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get people out there. ESPNTucson.com. Buy tickets. We're going to have fun. That's, hold on. My producer's trying to tell me to remind everybody about Kevin something. Nothing? Thanks, Matt. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, you could call me Kevin. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Matt, Kevin's hiding behind this graphic. Matt Minkus wants me to say something, and I don't know. You guys, the Brew Bowl presented by Sierra Nevada is tomorrow at Bed Rocks Bowling. <laughs> don't let people talk in your ear. <laughs> On Ina Road with doors opening at 11.30 a.m. My producer should run right now. Running until 3.30 in the afternoon. Tickets, you guys, and more information, log on to ESPNTucson.com.